Starting in 1950, the electric guitar first began to flourish. Made from simple electronics, the electric guitar was the first of its kind. Prior to the 1950s, all guitars were hollow, such as the 1945 Epiphone F-hole guitar. The first solid body guitar that I had read went into the mainstream was by Les Paul. It was called The Log. And it was a, uh, a combination of, um, I believe, two, two solid body guitars put together. Um, or it might have been two acoustic guitars with a solid piece of wood going down the center. And that was one of the first guitars uh, I heard that uh, was electrified. It was by Les Paul. And it was called The Log. I believe the reason why uh, uh, the electric guitar started to come into mainstream music was the big band. You know, when primarily the function of a guitar was to just keep rhythm, right on the beat, like a uh, drummer would be on the four, four, yep. um, or the bass player. Boom, boom, boom. The guitar function was to play one beat each. Then, when the guitar player started to solo, and one of the first guitar players that were noticed, that I'm sure there were more, but Charlie Christian with Ben Goodman, um, he was, uh, I believe, one of the first electric guitar players to use an electric guitar. Okay. And it was an acoustic kind of a guitar, um, F-hole guitar, not a round hole like a folk yep. guitar, but a F-hole guitar with a pickup. In this way here, he could manage to play over the horns, yep. the drama. You know, obviously the acoustic wouldn't work that mm -hmm. As time moved on and the culture of America changed, so did the usage of the guitar. It moved from more of a background, bassy purpose to the lead voice of a band. I believe they were affordable. Now, I, I'm saying one of the first mainstream guitars would be the Fender Broadcaster. You've heard of the Telecaster. It was the Broadcaster first, which was a one pickup at the bridge. That was probably one of the first electric guitars that were sold to the public. And I would think at the time, maybe 1951 or 52, it was probably reasonable um, reasonable in 52 might have been $160, you know, so you realize in 1952 you could probably buy a pretty nice car for um, $400, for dollars <laughs> you know, so, you know, $160 wasn't cheap, yeah. but attainable. Mm -hmm. So you figure 50s and then... You're talking to doo-wop bands, you'd see a lot of doo-wop bands come out with the Telecasters. Um, you're talking now the, the Clovers, bands like the Clovers, 53, 54. Then when rock and roll hit, now you're talking, um, you're, you're talking uh, Little Richard, you're talking Fats Domino, and then you're talking um, Chuck Berry. Chuck Berry was probably one of the first. No, I shouldn't say that. It was T-Bone Walker. Right? T-Bone Walker was before Chuck. And he he played a big Gibson. Big um, call the body Gibson with pickups on him. And he was doing rock licks. Kind of bluesy rock. It wasn't call rock. It was kind of called pop. Uh, but he was doing that kind of early rock and roll stuff. Chuck Berry later on took all those double stock kind of riffs mm -hmm. and did it. So yeah, you're talking 55. Um, that's when more players started to buy a telecast. Our companies could make it as fast. I mean, you know, everyone wanted it. Uh, George Harrison, uh, Gretsch, Country General, because he had them. So the guitar companies, they, they prospered in those years. But just before then, uh, like I say, I started in 63. The bands that were popular uh, were bands like Link Ray and the Raymen. They did a 
cartoon called Rumble. Um, there were um, bands like uh, The Ventures, instrumental guitar bands. And those, I mean, it was, they were popular, but they, they were not as many as they were when the Beatles had and everybody's done. What I had read was, what they were trying to do was really keep the, the same character of, of the acoustic. So in other words, they tried to emulate, and if, if they didn't want to go too far away from the, the shape of the guitar. So they, you know, until the Stratocaster came. And that was really a bizarre shape at the time. It was a space age kind of look with the two double horns. And, but the early telecast, they were trying to emulate a regular guitar. And they didn't want to alienate the mainstream and make it look like it was really a really weird looking guitar. They wanted to make it look like a guitar just, you know, solid body and 